Hi guys, I'm in Singapore and since I'm working with a very successful startup, I thought that I will interview him and ask him the three tips how to open your own company, how he did it, to tell us a little bit about his uh, story, uh, so behind the scene of his startup and how he did it basically. So I hope it will be really helpful for you as well and there is so much more to come up, so subscribe to our channel. Uh, uh, to stay informed and to watch all our videos. Thank you. Before you start your own company. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur for six years and if I look back, yeah, there are a lot of things I could have done differently, but I'm gonna pick the top three things that come to mind before you start your own business. Number one, research your market in and out. Really know what you're going for. Know whether you're gonna build a service or a product. Define yourself and your market in as much detail as you can. Uh, beforehand, you're going to be betting your career on this thing you, and currently you don't know for how long. It's probably going to be way longer than you estimate or think, at least double of what you're thinking right now. So you better be well prepared and you know your market in and out. Know the product need, know the market, uh, customers, talk to them beforehand, uh, you know, before you start investing a lot of time and money into your company. The second is build a pitch. Build a pitch uh, in the form of slides, in the form of a business plan. Be thorough about it. Uh, once you're done with that, go and actually pitch it to potential investors. Find angel investors, write to them, uh, figure a way to get meetings with them and do as many pitches as you can. I remember doing tens of pitches before I thought I had become good at it. My slides changed so much. I got a lot of feedback, my pitch started getting better. Uh, in fact, the questions that I was asked uh, helped me identify blind spots that I hadn't thought of and that further improved my business plan. Uh, all of this is gonna take time. Make sure you're financially secure, you have savings in the bank, uh, and you're budgeting for enough time to do all of this exercise. At least six months is what I would suggest. And the last one, I think this can be very powerful, Reading is one of my favorite ways of learning. Uh, whenever I have a big problem that I need to solve, I read a book overnight and by the next morning I have a rough idea of what I'm going to do to solve that problem. The first two books I read when I just became an entrepreneur and uh, you know, I needed to find ways to, to learn, to uh, get as much information from people I was meeting. The first book I read was Influenced by, uh, by Dr. Robert Cialdini. And the second book I read was uh, What Everybody Is Saying, uh, and this is by Joe Navarro. And the second book is on body language. I have figured over the years that body language gives you so much more information which people are not giving you consciously, but that subconscious or unconscious signals that people send you give you a whole different dimension of things you can learn from people. So those are my three tips. Uh, leave me any comments below and I'd be sure to answer your questions there.